what's the weight like? You know, like it's a little bit longer um, than the normal play Saturday, wait until the next Saturday, wait until Monday, but not as long as the wait in between SEC championship game and the semifinal. What's this wait been like for you? Um, you know, it's, it's a it's a good amount of time. Um, it's not too long, but it's not too short. Um, it's a lot of time to to prepare for this for a great team that we're about to play. So, you know, that's what that's what we're looking to do: make the most of it and um, prepare the right way and continue to improve this week. So we'll have a great chance against a great team in the in the national championship. What were your thoughts on why? Uh, I think us watching the game, we're like, man, what, why, why don't they blow this thing open? I mean, you know, Washington scored first, but after that, their offense. The the offense seemed a little bit off, and you tell me if I'm wrong. But in the semifinals, seemed a little bit off. Why weren't you guys able to to blow their doors off? I mean, just it, like you said, there was there was a long time in between in between the SEC championship and the first and the first playoff game. So, you know, that was kind of we kind of knew we we might come out a little rusty. But the the challenge was how could we overcome that? Could we continue to put our heads down and try to make plays, try to have progress, try to have successful plays? even when we didn't have successful plays, if we would have a negative play or if people wouldn't be on the same page, the next play could we focus on coming back and trying to improve and try to get a rhythm regardless of the circumstances in the game. Was there ever a moment to which you felt like you guys broke their spirit? Um, I mean, we don't really – we just want to – we just focus on playing our game and uh, continue to try to be a, a four-quarter team and – and have success for 60 minutes in a game and try to dominate our opponent for the entire four quarters. Um, I think there's always a point in time in a game where we can kind of feel like a team start to start to relax or, you know, they don't – something – there's something about them that we feel kind of break, and that's when we try to try to push forward even more and try to have even more success. Damon Harris joining us on the Doug Gottlieb Show, CBS Sports Trader. Talented sophomore running back, 1,000 yards this season, season 7.3 yards carry, tied or – not only undefeated SEC champions, but uh, the clear favorite to win yet another national championship. And then earlier this week, uh, your offensive coordinator, Lane Kiffin, has left the program and gone to take his new job at, at Florida Atlantic. When did you first hear the news? Um, I heard it when everybody else heard. Um, you know, that was just kind of something that Coach Saban thought was best for our program. He thought that it would give us the, the best chance of being successful in the game this week. So, you know, he just kind of told everybody at the same time. Everybody found out at the same time. Um, I don't think he wanted to let it out early to to have a chance of it spreading or anything like that. He just kind of made his decision and went with it. What's what was your personal reaction? Um, I mean, I didn't I didn't really have much of one. You know, kind of whatever Coach Saban says is kind of what we what we fall back on. But I think that um, Coach Kiffin did a great job while he was here, and um, he he helped us be very successful in the, in the three years that he was here. Uh, and I think that Coach Sarkeesian will do the same. Uh, uh, I think the rest of us are sitting there going, like, wait a second. Like, this dude wasn't with the program to start the year. Uh, he didn't install the offense. And, though, obviously he knows the offense and has worked with Lane before, and he's he's been part of this program here recently. Like, that, t- again, total outsiders not in the meeting room. It was like, wow, that's got to be a – that's got to be a change here, especially a couple days before the national championship game. Inside your guys' offices, how different is it? Right. I mean, it definitely it's definitely different, um, you know, not having offensive meetings with Coach Kiffin anymore, not not seeing him on the field anymore. Um, you know, it's definitely different. But um, like I said, Coach Saban, just, it, it was his, his decision. Um, he thought that that was what was best for us. And he only did that because he thought it gave us the best opportunity to be successful in the game. And he thought that that would help us have the best, the most success, and prepare us best for for a great Clemson team. So um, we're just we're, right now we're trying to adapt, and we're trying to we're trying to figure out how we're going to make this work. And you know, he's done a great job so far. You know, he was at practice yesterday, and he was real hands on, very vocal. Um, did a great job with the offense. So I think we'll be okay, and I think you know he'll give us the best chance of winning. What do you remember about Clemson last year? Um, just how good of a game it was. I mean, they they never quit. They never backed down. They applied pressure the entire game, and you know it took a full 60 minutes of football to beat them. And we know that it'll be the exact same way this year. I mean, they're a great team. They're they're full of talent. They play very fundamentally sound, and we know that it's going to take a, a great game plan and a lot of effort, a lot of toughness, a lot of discipline. Everything that Coach Saban preaches to us every day, we're going to need all that to win this game. There's some uh, there's some video of some Clemson dudes getting handsy with 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 Ohio State. Have you have you seen this video? I did see that video. What do you think? Um, I mean, 
it happens, I guess. You just gotta be you just gotta be careful. Okay, so here's what Ben Bulware said. Okay, I don't know if you saw this quote. He said, uh, people who say, Well, I played football and I never did that, you either this is again Ben Bulware from Clemson, you either sucked at football or you had no friends in the locker room, or you were the per- person that went in the bathroom stall to change because you were scared uh, to go to the shower with the rest of the team. That's just some stuff we do to have fun out there, mess with the other team. I know some of those other players. I know Zach Bailey. Uh, we just mess with them and loose, loosen up loosen up the game when everything's so serious. Uh, is, is that the way you view it? Um, I, That's not how I look at it. Um, I, I've never done that for fun, and I don't I mean, I, I don't know. That's just not something that I. So, see. so nobody in the bottom of the high, uh, in, the, in the bottom of the pile has gone a couple fingers deep on you. No, 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 no. no. Nor would they live to tell about it. Yeah, I mean, and if they did, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't see that as as be, just being playful or a part of the game. I mean, that's definitely, that's definitely something that this game is not based on, and um, that's not something that that usually happens. So, I mean, I, I don't know if he's just trying to cover up his teammate or or what, but that's definitely not definitely not how we look at it he did say that christian went too far he said christian went four fingers deep <laughs> that's, that's too much Way so too so uh, yeah so whatever their imaginary whatever their imaginary line is even ben bowler would say that christian wink christian wilkins uh went, went went over the over the line david harris joining us on the doug gottlieb show on cbs sports radio how do you process the nerves and look your role this year different and bigger than it was obviously last year but how do you process the nerves of just playing football when this is the biggest college football game on earth well i mean that it, it's all based on how you prepare um if you prepare the right way and you're you know you know what you're what you're supposed to do and how you're supposed to do it and you really zero in on, on the task at hand and focus on your job and dominating your box um there's really no nerves i mean it's just a, it's just another football game granted it's on the biggest stage um in college football but you're still just playing football. I mean, there's no, there's nothing extra that you have to do in order to win this game. It's just you just continue to do what got you there, and just try to continue to to work on that and do that against a, another great opponent. And hopefully, you'll you'll play the best game, you'll play the better game, and you'll be able to come out on top. You know, it's interesting. We sit here and we watch your defense play, and everybody's just like, "Well, I mean, the defense is it's it's crazy how many touchdowns they've had, how they intimidate an offense." And, and there's two sides to it. Part of it says, like, hey, your offense should take more shots down the field because your defense will pick you up if you do throw a pick, right? It becomes like a, like a punt. On the other hand, the idea of kind of what you guys have done recently, which is be more conservative because you don't want the offense to lose the game and the defense is, is going to win it for you. What's it like to have that to fall back on, have that group that has been so dominant uh, for the most part this year to have your backs? I mean, it's almost like a security blanket. I mean, they they do such a great job of holding opponents to little to no points and, you know, forcing tough situations for opposing offenses, which puts our offense in better positions. So that way, you know, whenever we don't have a good drive or, you know, we have a turnover, we know that we can have we can count on the defense to, to give us another opportunity to go out there and put points on the board. And, you know, that doesn't mean that we, we go out in games and we don't care if we if we score or not because we know that our defense is going to pick up the slack for us. But we just know that if we do make a mistake or if we don't have the success that we want to have, that our defense will give us an opportunity to go back out and try to provide a better um, offensive drive or, you know, put together more points or do things better and execute better. That way we can give the team the best chance of winning. So it's really a, it's really a group effort. It's a team effort. And um, they've got our backs, and we've got their backs. Just like if they they give up some points, some unusual amount of points or things like that, um, we're here to have their backs and try to put score more points on the other team. 